Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to Economics and Comics. So, uh, I wanted to tackle a quick, not an issue, but more of like a instructional video uh, for you guys. I mean, I listen to everyone in the chats and questions and people ask all the time, how you do this or how would you advise that or, you know, whatever. And I feel like the best thing for me as a, whatever you call it, as a channel uh, is to show you things and tricks and things I've learned over time so you guys can learn. Uh, you know, so many people probably don't know much about different things. Some of you know a lot about everything. Uh, but I thought ha having the advantage, I mean, yeah, we've got a, close to 1,600 subs now. Being able to speak to you guys and tell you things like my comic book videos and stuff like that so you can get stuff early and you know, grading and all this and trying to teach at the same time, entertain or whatever. Um, this is a good moment for me to actually maybe teach you something you may already know or maybe you don't. Now, the question that was posed to me was how do you ship a print or an original piece of art? Now, this is how I do it. Okay. Now, a lot of people, they use tubes. I do not do that. Because I don't like to roll up things. Sometimes it works out okay, but you pull it out and then it's all, you know, bent or possible to get damaged. So what I do is something else. Now you got to always keep in mind in the United States to ship a print or an original piece of art, it's going to cost you $13. You could do it cheaper, okay? But the way I do it is easy. I don't have to pay for supplies except for tape. Okay, and so what I would do is this, and I'm going to show you. My first thing I would say is you need to go to the post office. Okay, now you can get boxes for free all day long. The how you do this is for prints or original pieces is you get two medium flat rate boxes. Okay, so the first one is the long one, which you would probably ship a CGC book in. You don't want to open it. Okay, this is the long one. They're, remember, they're both medium flat rate uh, boxes. You get this size one, and you get the other one that's like a box that would turn into a box, and this is more like a, a rectangle, okay? Those are the first two pieces you need. Now, I'm going to switch cameras to show you how I do it, and I mean, this, this one's a little bit different, but I'm going to show you the basic way to do it, and it keeps the pieces straight, and the box can't be bent and they can get the piece flat and in good condition. So let me change cameras. Okay, so first I have the square one that would be like a shoe box, okay? Now these are free again. Um, what, what I would do is this. Uh, for instance, I'm gonna take out, for one of my uh, last auctions, we had uh, Tank Punk won a bunch of stuff. And usually this is how I would do it with one print, okay? So here's one of the prints that he won. Now you can already see that the box shaped one, it would fit nicely within inside it, okay? Now what I would usually do is just for one print, I would get that. I have these special bags. You don't need them, but I'm telling you how I do it. I would put it inside this bag, okay? But you honestly don't need to do that. I just do it because, and I won't be doing it in regard to tank punk stuff either because he ordered three different prints okay well a, two prints and original piece of art now you can also buy i mean if you have the funds and this would help uh if you want it's an extra like five or six bucks okay but you can also buy one of these art holders page holders like five or six bucks now i'm going to send his in this plastic case because he's got multiple prints inside there uh, because you know you know he's there's more than one okay so I put them all inside there and it's safe and, and and again let's just pretend it's just one you don't need this you just need the print okay you don't need any other form of protection uh, I'm gonna put a little piece of tape on the end not not that it needs it, but just to close up this uh, protective sleeve, okay? Now, there are three prints in here. Don't get, uh, understand. So, here's what you do. 
the the medium now do, you can do this with just a print you don't need any protection just be careful when you're putting it in there you put it inside the the medium box okay i want you guys to see right now i'm sliding it in <laughs> that's what she said it's a better view within the box okay it's inside the box shaped medium flat rate priority mailbox it's in there now okay now there's room for like uh it's about right here and then on the other side as well what i would do then is okay so we have it in that in that box there the next thing i'll do is get a, some tape okay you start here put the tape and I know this you know I hope somebody gets something out of this you put the tape on there and you wrap it all the way you go around once now you can see the print inside through this crack remember it doesn't have to be protected it's still safe in there but I'm doing it because he has so many I'm gonna use one of these uh, uh, holders for it there you go I went all the way around so both sides and then I sealed it. So let's just, let me show you guys on the other camera. Here it is. It's that same, the way it came. Now you can see the prints inside there. See it? Again, it can be by itself. You can protect it. You can put it in a sleeve. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but you could just put the print itself in there. It's going to be safe. Now, we have put it in the medium sized uh, like shoebox size flat rate envelope okay now you get the long rectangle size medium flat rate box and again these are free at the post office and you put this inside it okay so I'm putting that inside there There's about one inch room on both sides, okay? So now it's inside here. So you have that one size box inside with the print inside, and then you put it inside this medium flat rate box, okay? Now let me switch cameras again. Okay. So now it's inside there. Now you think, well, Bill, doesn't it have to be a certain size and all that? Apparently not, because I've been doing this a long time. You, you're gonna get got it inside. You got all the free cardboard you need. It's protected. And then I usually go a little excessive on the tape at this part uh, so that it's completely sealed. So go ahead and move this. We're here. Okay. I put it here. Nice and tight. I try to get it as tight as I can. And I go over to the other side, okay? So then I cut it. So I've just secured the center, okay? Now I'm going to do right here. I'm going to do the three sides. And I'm going to squeeze it as best I can. And then I, I'm just doing little pieces, okay? But it's going all the way across. I'm going to do this last side here. Okay, I'm going to flip it because right here is this opening. The, the, so I'm going to get that part too. I'm going to cover that up. And I'm going to squeeze it real tight. As tight as I can for right now. And then I close it. I cut it off. Okay, so as you can see, I have taped these three. I know there's a little gap. But I've taped the three pieces down, okay? Now I'm going to do the other side. I hope this video is not boring, but this is how you do it right, okay? At least in my mind, so the print always stays uh, straight or the original piece of art. Now this side's closing better because I guess there's a little bit more wiggle room on this side. So I got the center. You can see the edge here. That's be one of the edges that breaks off and folds. I'm going to go ahead and get that all, cover that up. And I squeeze, 
and I put it there, okay? Cut it. I'm going to flip it over because we have this part that's cut, you know? Bear with me because this is, I would think if someone's buying a print or original piece of art, they're going to want it shipped this way. It's a good way to learn quickly. Um, I get over the crack or whatever. <laughs> Cut that okay so now basically I have both sides sealed okay now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from the center all the way around I'm gonna go all the whole thing center I like to put pressure Pulling on the tape so it's solid and straight. Got it. Set it down again. All the way down. Boom. Okay, we have one solid line across. All the way around, okay? So it's gotten both sides all the way around. I also do it this way. You, you don't have to, but... Excuse me, I do it this way. There you go. Put some pressure. Turn it down. Now I've received prints and stuff like that in the mail for like $9 shipping, but they're in the tubes, and I don't like that. Okay, so I've went all the way. I did a big cross all the way around, okay? Remember the two different boxes. Now, what do you do with this, okay? So what I would do with that is, let's see how I can film it. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to get, this is interesting, and just try try to stay with me. I know this video might be boring, but whatever. It's a video. I get the tape and I measure the whole distance. See? A little bit longer than the whole piece. Now I'm going to cut it. I have this one piece of tape, okay? I'm going to put half of it on the, the top side, okay? So I just put half on the top side. Like that. Now, the other half is loose right here. See? What I do is I start at the center and I grip really tight and I push down that half like that. The center. Then I go like this and I just kind of sideways get it all. So even though there's a gap there, right, it's sealed for like water or whatever like that. Now, the second step to this process is you get the tape and you tape like this all the way around, okay? So, I put the tape just like this on the very corner. Alright? And I carefully get it. Now I'm holding it tight again all the way down. I'm not doing it down yet. I'm holding it tight. Now I'm going to push it down. Boom. And I'm going to be very careful to make sure it's all the way down that side perfectly aligned. That's where you get all the stragglers from the last tape I just did. You do it all the way down again. Boom. Okay. And then you finish that off. So basically what I just did was I did the tape here on both sides and then there's like this little straggler tape then I went all the way down and around so it's sealed okay now I have to do the other side really fast so to repeat the process I do the length the length of it so I have the length I put it down, half of it on this side. Make sure it's on there. And I flip it over. And I get the center first. And I wrap it around like that. And then I get the rest and I go like that, all the way down. Okay? Then you have these straggler pieces from that, from doing that. But this part's all sealed. Okay? The straggler pieces 
I would come now I'm gonna I'm gonna seal it up is basically what I would call it you get the very corner edge like that boom you don't want to go over you flip it really tight all the way down boom make sure it's good do that last flip boom all done there you go now there are some parts where the holes are still like right here there's still a hole right here still a hole basically all the way around now you can totally and this is totally fine and I'll do it to show you how secure it is those last little holes you just go another tape over you already did all that just do one more tape over over that last hole of the right here right you can go all the way around boom you're covering all the holes that's what she said all the way around boom done done that side's done we'll get this other side because there's still a little bit of left on the edge we'll do another it's just basically instead of this line we're doing the next one over and that's it we'll go around boom like that boom done all right so well it is done okay except for shipping let me show you so it's complete it's in a meeting you see what i mean look how thin it is it's sealed it's sealed it's protected inside by another box and the print is laying flat in there just imagine it's just the print you can do that so the two different size medium flat rate boxes the shoe box one and then the longer one you put the sh put the print inside the shoe box one you put that inside this one and then you seal it all up then you just print medium flat rate thirteen dollars you put it right there your label and you're done now look ready dude I cannot I cannot bend this I am physically trying see it shaking you cannot bend that and that's how you protect a print original piece of art and that's how you do it that's how economics and commerce does it free boxes your own tape if you want to use those little extras you can but you don't need it just the print the two boxes and some tape and then you print out medium flat rate box $13 and you're done the customer gets it they open it up they pull out the interior part they do a couple quick cuts they pull out the print and it's perfectly straight and no rolls. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial on how to ship a print or original art. And I would have to say, see it!